Local scooter clubs take to the streets tonight to honor one of their own after a woman was hit and killed by a driver. It's 11 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. That vigil to honor Sue Bartlett and bring awareness to motorized scooters on the roads just wrapped up in Northeast Portland. That's where we find our Valina Jones live for us tonight. So how are people remembering her, Valina? Well, Jennifer, friends tell me Sue was passionate, cared for everyone she came in contact with, and strong-willed. They've placed flowers and balloons and photos of Sue at all four corners of this intersection where she was hit. This one shows flowers, but also a ghost motorized scooter, not only in her honor, but also as a promise to fight on her behalf. With two wheels on the pavement, dozens of scooters hit the road honoring a woman who usually would be riding with them. This is a tragic loss of a person devoted to those she loved, the local community, and the world in general. 66-year-old Susan Bartlett, an avid member of the St. John Scooter Club, died Friday when police say an SUV turned in front of her and they collided head-on. Friends and supporters rode from St. John's to the crash site in her honor. We're all gathering because we love Sue, and that's a worthy reason to gather. Um, but we're also gathering because we want her death to not be in vain. Dozens of friends coming together singing songs. And remembering the woman described as an activist, now pushing for change on her behalf. She tried everything she could to be safe on her scooter. Without other drivers' attention, there will be more injuries and more death. Her family's presence, though out of state, still felt in a statement read by others. By being here at the vigil tonight, you are taking the pain away from our family. You are turning anger into action, raising awareness. A preventable pain, her family says, they don't want others to feel. What Portland is doing now is not working. It is not sufficient. Portland's vision zero is one-eyed blind. We are being hurt, maimed, and killed by careless and awareless driving. These are not accidents. They are preventable. This is the 40th traffic-related death this year for the city of Portland, but the Scooter Club tells me this is the first time they know of that someone in the Portland area has died on a motorized scooter, which makes this loss even more difficult for this community. They say they will continue to find ways to push for change. Reporting live in Northeast Portland, Valina Jones, Coin 6 News. All right, Valina, thank you.